Hello, radio check. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. So it's me, Andreas Clear, and Tom Southern. That's the three of us. Andreas is a unique personality. He's got unique knowledge, I think. Ale, here he goes, stringy adesso. Come on, son, Ale! Tell him that he's gonna win the second on the last climb. That's his climb. Dopo ponte, curva a destra, 90 gradi. He's got an incredible eye for detail and detail that moves the needle, that changes things. If I direct the races, uh, they know what to expect, so I go very much into details because I do my homework at home. That's probably why it's called homework. I never have the feeling when I have to direct the race that I give the wrong information. Before I do that, I would just give no information. If a f up happens, it happens. Right? Can't change the facts, right? So it happened already. Happened already. Tom, apart from being a dear friend of mine, is a really great sports director. I think he's got a very keen eye for human interactions and how people work together and stuff, and that gives us a, a big advantage. And I think together we work pretty well. Huh? I have to film you for a day. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think the three of us sort of work quite well together. With our, we've got good mix of temperaments. Um, Andreas generally tends to keep the mood pretty good. Over this line, come on. Touch over this Rigo, come on, son, come on. Super Rigo, super, it's fast, do it. Come on. Ali Rigo, Ali, come on. Do it, do it, do it. Do it. Come on, come on, come on. Alan Rigo, Alan, come on! I've lost! Come on, Rigo! Come on, son, you're gonna do it! Yeah! Do it! Come on! Do it! Come on, Rigo! It's a victoria, son! Come on, Rigo! Alan! Alan! Fido la linea, Rigo! But a time trial like that for me is like a very intense shared experience between me and the rider because he's making an effort like that and it's my voice in his ear and that's quite a sort of intense uh, link between you. You know, that the, the stopwatch didn't give him what he deserved. It, it burns, you know, it's, uh, it stings a bit. I think it's about having um, high expectations of people that you value. And that can be hard on them at times because you ask them to go to, to a high level. But it comes from valuing them so highly and that's why I think all that sort of energy just gets channeled into those moments that you see in the car. That was not really a surprise, was it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> come on, let's, let's do it again. Yeah. It's helpful if you have been a cyclist. It's not always helpful if you have been um, like a super cyclist, right? Because then you maybe don't know what it means to suffer. Highly talented, good riders probably don't make the best sports directors. Because, you know, a, a great champion is just going to say, well, why don't you just ride up the side of the peloton and get into... And 
If you've been a bad rider, you know that you can't just do that. I didn't think that I could ever do a kind of leadership type work. Because as a rider, I was a follower. I wasn't a leader. I was a rubbish rider, you know? Tom carries the burden of the logistics, which is not a small task at a race like this. It's like you constantly plan for the worst, and you wake up with like a sense of dread, and then eventually it sort of goes away. Um, and you're like, okay, we got, got through that one. I just do it. Kind of spreadsheets. That's basically it. Everything has to go like forwards as smoothly as possible. Making sure that nobody notices anything different. It just has to be a really smooth day from end to end. In the car, out the car, on the bike, off the bike. The rough asked me uh, what my work here is, Charlie. Mm -hmm. I said I basically drive from A to B. Yeah. Charlie's really cerebral. He's not just a kind of your meat and potatoes coach. You know, gives you the rah rah speech. He's really insightful and really thoughtful. But don't take any major risks, okay? Don't stress it up and don't finish yourself off. I've had some really difficult moments in my career on this team, and he's been always able to provide some nice uh, advice and mentorship. I think if you take this car and turn it upside down and shake it, you're gonna find like 60 pens I've lost it. For just the third time in Tour history, today's stage sees a summit finish at the iconic Tourmalet. Tana, what you do now is really good. This is your tour. This is the tour you're doing here, Tana. It's really good. Come on. Good job, Tana. Easy now. Easy. Big days coming. Well done. Super work. Thomas si stacca davanti a te, Vigo. Thomas si sta staccando davanti a te. Come on! Till the line, Vigo. Vigo, Berto, solo, solo quiero decirle lo siguiente. Like we were so far back and we were still like, Pino win! Pino a gagné! Just like telling us. Pino a gagné! Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> favorite part of my job is not having to do another job and I actually started cycling again a while ago a little bit like some one hour rides right uh, to clear the head and just, I start loving it more and more again I'm still uh, uh, learning let's say I don't uh, know them so well yet but I think uh, after this season, I, I have uh, raced pretty much with every director we have in the team, and uh, then uh, yeah, then I can decide who's my favorite. <laughs> this tour has been a, a challenge at times. Um, we've had to sort of change and adjust. I'd like them to think that I was uh, fair, um, that I worked hard, and that the team that I worked in was a good place to be.